eighth graders. We are doing module eight. Um, I'm sorry, module four problem set for lesson 24. And uh, we are starting systems of equations, meaning when we have two lines, uh, equations for two lines, can we tell if there's an answer that will make both equations true, not just one. Up till now, we've only been doing one equation. This time, we want to know if both equations are two. So we're going to have two lines. Is there a, a number or a set of numbers that will make both equations true? So today, we're learning that we can graph these lines and uh, see where they intersect to help us with that. So um, first thing we have to do is write and then graph these lines. So we have Jeremy and Gerardo. Uh, they both run at a constant speed. Jer Jeremy can run a mile in eight minutes. Remember, we have distance divided by time. So, Jeremy can run a mile in eight minutes. So, Jeremy, I'm going to write down here, Jeremy. Uh, one mile in eight minutes one mile in eight minutes and then we have Gerardo can run three miles in 33 minutes so down here I'm gonna go Gerardo three miles in 33 minutes Um, and we know that Jeremy starts running 10 minutes after Gerardo. Jeremy starts running 10 minutes after Gerardo. So who is running first? Gerardo runs first, doesn't he? He starts running first. Jeremy starts 10 minutes later. So Gerardo runs 10 extra minutes because... Jeremy started after him. Okay, so Gerardo runs 10 extra minutes. So if Jeremy runs one mile for every eight minutes, his speed is one eighth, right? One mile per eight minutes, right? So for Jeremy, our distance is going to be one eighth times our um, time, right? Or y is going to equal 1 eighth x. For Gerardo, 3 over 33, but we can reduce this, right? Divide by 3. And we're going to get 1 over 11. So Gerardo's equation, his distance is going to be 1 over 11 times our time, or y equals 1 11 times x. But remember, he also runs 10 extra minutes, doesn't he? So because he's doing it, our minutes plus the 10. So let's do our distributive property here. And we're going to get y equals 1 over 11x. Multiply that out. And 1 over 11 times 10, put that over 1, right? And we get 10 elevenths. So this is Gerardo. And this is Jeremy. So let's graph these. Jeremy is y equals 1 eighth x. It's going to be plus zero, right? So we're going to cross our thing, our y-intercept is at zero. Uh, and to go eight miles, it takes them one minute. One, rise of one, run of eight, two, four, six, eight. Rise of one, two, four, six, a run of eight, right? For Gerard, Gerardo, uh, our, we cross at plus 10 elevenths. So this is going to be our y-intercepts. This is just under 1, isn't it? 
This is just under one. And then we're going to go up one and over 11. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Go up one, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Up one, two, four, six. Okay, so it's going to be like this. So let's get a ruler and connect these. Actually, I'm going to use the side of a sheet of. Oh, here's my ruler. So first, let's connect uh, Jeremy. Connect these points. And now let's connect Gerardo. I need Jeremy a little longer. Not the best at drawing this, but do these ever cross? And at approximately what point do they cross? They cross um, right around here, right? Right around 24-3. Actually, actually, should write it this. I'm sorry, let me pull this up. They cross right around here. So that's about 24, 3. So will Jeremy ever catch up to Gerardo? Yes. At right about the 24 minute mark. Because remember, this is minutes and this is miles. Around 24 minutes or 3 miles, they'll catch up. Let's go on to number 2. Number 2. Um, we have two cars car A and car B. Okay, uh, the blue car, oh, I'm sorry, the two cars, a red and a blue, they go from town A to town B. So we have our blue car, so let's do our blue car. 25 miles an hour, right? So blue, I'm going to write it over here, blue is 25 miles per one hour, okay? Let me come down here. This is going to be our time in hours. And this is going to be our distance in minutes. Okay. So he goes 25 miles per hour, which could also be um, 25 per 60 minutes, right? One hour, 60 minutes. Okay. Our red car uh, travels 60 miles an hour, right? Red, 60 miles per hour. Or we can go 60 miles per 60 minutes. Okay. So um, the blue car leaves at 9.30 and the red car leaves at noon. So the red car is leaving later. So the blue car is going to be traveling longer. In fact, the blue car is going to be traveling about two and a half hours early more, right? Blue car leaves early, so blue car travels longer. Longer. On 9.30 to noon is two and a half hours. So, um,
So let's do the red car first. The red car is going to be y, sorry about this, y equals 60x, right? Now the blue car is going to be y equals 25, but not just x, it's going to be x plus the 2.5, right? Because it went two and a half hours longer. So we are going to have, uh, do the distributor property. And y is going to equal 25x plus 62.5. If I did 25 times 2.5, I get 62.5. So let's graph these. Starting with y equals 60x. Um, one hour is uh, 60. Two is 120. Remember, rise of 20, 40, 60, run of 1, 60 over 1. Uh, and we're going to go 20, 40, 60. So this is our red car. So let me grab this. Oh, I made a mistake. 1 over 2, I should only go over 1. So there's our red car. Now let's do our blue car. Now our blue car um, has a y-intercept of 62.5. Remember, got that head start. So we'll put that right about there. And then it goes up 25. So, so this is going to go up 25 in an hour. So right about there. It's going to go up another 25 um, in an hour. So actually, I could do this. Um, 6250 plus 25 would be uh, 87.5 plus another 25 would be 12, 112.5. So that'll be about there. Add another 25, and I'm going to get 137.5. It's going to be about there. And I'm going to connect these. So we have our red car and our blue car. Apart from what graph do these lines intersect? They intersect right about here, right? Our intersection point is right about here. And that's going to be right about, what do you think this is, an hour and maybe 1.8? Not quite two. And time and about 110? Uh, maybe less than that. I'm not the best drawer. We're right about there. Okay. So yes, the red car is going to eventually catch up. Have a good day.